Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is um, April the 12th, 2022. We are going to talk about Cardano today or ADA. And I got some terrible news. Uh, the market did not pan out the way I expected it to go my last price prediction. And when that happens, you simply have to understand that the market just didn't have enough demand to push price higher. I'm going to talk about that and what it means going forward for ADA. So welcome to the channel. If today's your first time ever seeing my videos, my content, I do price predictions and I do it in a way that's not confusing. It's not complex. We simply look at the behavioral movement of the individuals who are interested in this cryptocurrency. If people are buying, then guess what? We'll be able to see it on the price chart. If people are trying to sell, guess what? We'll see it on the price chart as well. So as I go through the market today on this video, I'll give you all the price analysis for ADA. You all appreciate it. Hit the like button. Join the team, subscribe to the channel, and as well, take that bell notification. You guys don't want to miss out on my videos because when things like this happen, I pay attention to the charts. So if the market is looking like it doesn't want to go up, then we have to play that side. We have to play and expect price to continue to go down. And that's literally what the market is telling us right now in ADA. So keep it locked in. Check this out. I did a video right here. Let me zoom on the price chart right here on March the 29th, right? And the expectation was for ADA to continue to go up. Now, I'm going to keep it real. The market didn't do it. Now, as time went on, following that particular day, March the 29th, the market was giving us hints. It was giving us evidence that the price wasn't going to go up, that the market tried. The buyers who were interested in letting ADA go up higher, they tried. And I'm going to show you where they tried at, which particular days they tried. You guys can see it. It happened here. Right there. It happened on April the 4th. It even happened here on March the 31st. The buyers try to keep ADA's price elevated. They tried. And they didn't have enough energy to continue to pursue prices higher than $1.25. It was like literally a lid came into the market in ADA that stopped people from buying the market higher in ADA. Like, look at this. You guys got to pay attention to these price bars because it gives you the information you need. The rejection zone started on the 28th of March. I came through on the 29th, did a video expecting that the buyers were going to continue to elevate ADA's price and they failed on that day. They also failed on the 31st and they even ultimately failed on April the 4th. That's the reason why ADA is not going up. That is the terrible news. When the buyers have tried on multiple trading days to allow price to go up and they continually fail then you have to be prepared for price to fall. And that is exactly what price has done since April the 4th. ADA has fell off a cliff. Look at this. We've seen the price decrease in value from the high of April the 4th to where we at right now. 23, almost 24% already. That's terrible news if you're looking for the price in ADA to go up. Now, I didn't get this price prediction right and it goes that way. Because once your expectations are already laid out on the chart, you cannot go back and change it. But we need to learn from it. And that's the reason why I just said earlier as to why ADA could not continue to go up in price. The sell wall was stronger than what the people were trying to buy. That's it. So now we need to talk, though, because if that is the case, if that is the case, then we should be prepared for ADA to continue to go lower, right? Yes, we should be prepared for price and ADA to continue to fall. So if I were to get out the market now, I'll be down 21, almost 22 percent. It happens, which is why you want to know when to come in and cut those losses, because if you don't learn how to cut them, you're going to increase your losses and you're going to end up sitting, holding the bag, waiting and wishing for the day that the price at least comes back to your break even point. That's not how this game is meant to be played, because you actually should have got out the market right here. On April the 6th, two days after the market got rejected at $1.25, you should get out right there on April the 6th. Because that was a dead giveaway. That would have been 13% versus 22. Versus 22. Right? So check this out. Let me get rid of this. So now, I'm not looking for ADA to go up. If you guys are looking for a person to, you know, give you a lot of hope, a lot of FUD, a, a lot of FOMO, trying to get you in, trying to tell you that ADA is going to hit $20 one day. Yeah, this this chart is not reflecting that. Look, I'm zooming out the price chart right now and you got to be a realist. The market in ADA is in a downtrend. 
So anyone that's trying to tell you that eight is going to hit five dollars, eight is going to hit ten dollars. They obviously have not seen this price chart. That is clearly a currency asset that is in a downtrend. This is not a buying opportunity. We haven't created the uptrend like we did back in 2020 in ADA. We are now coming back down the other side of the mountain. You got it? It is what it is. So now we really need to talk because the market in ADA has broken a very crucial point that I identified on my last video on March the 29th. And it is right here. Okay. We did not want to see this happen and it happened. We did not want to see Ada's price break this. And it did. One dollar. And it did. This area was massively strong for buyers. Like the buyers really stood up price in Ada around one dollar. And it goes all the way back to July, June, May, April, even all the way back in March of last year. The market in ADA maintained one dollar. Now price broke it. Look at that. Let me zoom in so you all can see it. Price has now broken one dollar to the downside. So we cannot respect one dollar for the buyers anymore. They gave up. They couldn't keep price in ADA above one dollar. So now that's an issue. This is eight on the two day. All right, we got 14 hours and six minutes left. You guys can tell that, yeah, we're still weak. We are still weak here into the market in ADA. Now check this out. The best thing or the best information that I can drop and give you all is for us to allow ADA to trade within a trading channel. Okay. And this is where the trading channel is going to occur. A dollar 20 is restriction where the sellers are standing up and 79 cents is where the buyers are standing up now since we broke a dollar to the downside now we're currently going down so we should be leaning to price and ada continue to do just that within at least this trading channel okay this is eight on a three day you guys don't see any strength here at all this three day weakness started on april the 4th price has been going down since then so going on nine days the price in ada has been going down I don't understand what people find so hard about not recognizing what price is going to do. This is ADA on a five day. These two five day price bar with cumulative is 10 trading days. The buyers try to go up. What I was talking about earlier in my video, they tried to allow ADA's price to break $1.20, $1.25, and they both got rejected in 10 days. And they finally gave up. And price went down. So, I'm not bullish into the market in ADA right now. If anything, we can respect and expect the market to go sideways. That's the best outlook I can give you all right now on this video because this is not a bullish chart right now. And especially right here on the two weekly time frame, this is where we should have seen a continuation movement of price going up. But instead, we got the price rejection and price coming down. That's it. We should not have seen that but that was the case. So we need to continue to play the weakness into the market in ADA at least a little bit lower. Now I'm not expecting a crash. I'm not looking for the price in ADA to come down to 20 cents, anything like that. But we have to be aware that the dynamics in ADA has changed, especially in the next five days and 15 hours. Look at this. If this three weekly price bar, right? Let's say it comes all the way back down to where the low came in on the last three weekly price bar. That is massively weakness. Expect the price to definitely break 80 cents and go all the way down, possibly to 40. Yes. Okay. Just give me all a heads up. So now let me go ahead. And since the market is telling us, it's not me, the market is telling us what direction the price is trying to go. We're going to play the weakness, but I'm only going to play within the traded channel. Like, I don't want you all to think that I'm expecting the price to completely crash in ADA because I'm not, but I'm expecting it to go down, right? I'm expecting it to go a little bit lower in price. And I already see where price currently is that the market is going to try to hold support 
around 91 cents now considering the five day to three day time frame we can definitely see the market in ada come down here to 85 cents so that's gonna be my first price target 85 cents which gives us around 10 percent profitability all the way back down to 80 that's my second okay it gives us 17 and a quarter now we know that the ultimate area restriction is all the way up here around a dollar twenty, but we also know that a dollar is restriction as well. So I'm also going to extend it up a little bit higher than a dollar, just to give us a cushion to allow the market opportunity to work itself out if it wants to go up. But this is it. So this is what I'm expecting the market to do in ADA so far. Uh, generally, we're, we're still in a downtrend. So if anyone's trying to be bullish into the market in ADA, you need to be wary of them. What, what, what is their true agenda? Are they trying to get ad revenue? Are they just trying to get you to click on the video? Or are they really trying to show you how this game is being played? Check me out. This is what I do. So you guys want to join me, drop your price prediction, your price target in ADA right now and show it to the world. We'll see which one is right. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.